going on guys today i'm bringing you another pokemon x and y wi-fi battle this is going to be against my boy joey aka poke aim md and uh look at his team and look at my team he has one pokemon on his team that completely annihilates five out of six of my pokemon and that is abomasnow he has a mega abomasnow on his team dragonite's gone rotom's gone mamoswine's gone glissquist's gone and starmie's gone so i did not prepare this team very well at all uh, Abomasnow Snow was not common whatsoever, so I wasn't even thinking about it. Um, but anyways, either way, I'm gonna have a lot of trouble in this battle unless I take out that Abomasnow. Snow. So I gotta try and make that my main objective, but I don't have much to deal with it in the first place. All I have is Metacham and Dragonite. Dragonite has the Fire Punch. Uh, I guess maybe Mamoswine. I do have the Icicle Spear. Uh, not the Icicle Spear, the Icicle Crash. But other than that, uh, and Metacham, of course, I don't have anything to take this thing out, so... <laughs> I just gotta be cautious, I suppose. And then not only that, but he has the uh, he has the Aegis Slash, he has the Talon Flame. Notice I said absolutely nothing about the Zygarde. Zygarde's not even that good of a Pokemon at all. So, um, anyways, let's let's go ahead and hop into the battle. Uh, so what I'm gonna be doing is leading off with my Metacham because I want to try and catch his Obama Snow uh, as quickly as possible. And I thought that he'd be leading off with it, maybe just to try and get the Hail up. Uh, and not only that, but he has a good matchup against five out of six of my Pokemon. So. Uh, it really does not hurt him whatsoever to lead with the bomb of snow, especially since he does have that Aegis Lash for my Metacham. I only have uh, a Fighting and Psychic move on this Metacham to bulk up set, so I only have Cycle Cut and uh, Drain Punch, so I can't even touch his uh, <laughs> I can't even touch his Aegis Lash regardless. But uh, he's actually going to go out to a Zygarde now. I just go straight for the Drain Punch. Like I said, it's the only move I have to hit the Obama Snow with super effective damage, and uh, it actually does quite a bit. I'm not even adamant either on Jolly. And uh, it does over half to the Zygarde. Zygarde's a fairly bulky Pokemon, so that's actually pretty impressive if you ask me. But nobody asked me. So he doesn't really have a choice here. He doesn't want to switch out. He's just going to allow his Zygarde to die. Uh, he's going to go for the Extreme Speed, which is pretty good. I think Zygarde's not that bad, to be honest, especially in OU. But it's also not that good either. But anyways, I'm going to go for another Drain Punch to get all of my HP back. Well, not all of it, but most of it. Um, yeah, that's definitely a good amount of HP that I just got back. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I take out his Zygarde. But now he's free to go out to his Aegis Lash. And this thing was also a huge problem for my team. Uh, Aegis Lash is a very, very, very strong Pokemon on the physical and special side. And he actually turns out to have the Shadow Ball. I've actually seen him use this in his own battles. But I was also not prepared for this. I have nothing to take a Shadow Ball from a special Aegis Slash at all. So I'm actually going to end up taking a ton of damage from the Shadow Ball. It does a clean 60%. I actually need to breed a careful uh, Gliscor. Gl careful Gliscor seems to be a lot better than Impish in this generation. But um, I guess I'll get on that later. But anyways, like I said, this Aegis Slash is going to be a huge problem. Uh, here I could have... I, I was thinking about it. I, I wasn't sure what he would do. Uh, and I don't really have too many options. I wanted to go for the Substitute here. There's no way I was going to go for the Toxic. But Substitute seemed like a decent option. Especially because I need to get this Abomas Snow out of the way. Uh, I was going to try and poison it if I uh, ended up getting up the Substitute. But uh, it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. Because I went for the Protect just to get a little bit more HP. But it looks like he predicted that. So uh, he actually goes straight out to his Mammoth Swine. I really have no options here. Um, I could have gone out to my Metacham here. And I probably should have. Because that would have allowed me to bring my Mammoth Swine next turn. And maybe get off a, an Ice type move. Or maybe set up my Stealth Rock or something. Uh, so I actually made quite a few mistakes during this battle. Uh, definitely should not have uh, switched my Mammoth Swine there. But also, I wanted to try and save my Metacham just in case I needed it later, but it seems that it might have been the weakest link on my team, uh, despite it being one of the only Pokemon I have to take out this Obama Snow. Obama Snow, Mega Obama Snow that is, is very, very bulky, very, very strong. So I really don't have much against this thing. You saw how little that Ice Shard did to it. It did absolutely nothing. So, uh, I pretty much have no options here. I'm going to go out to my Dragonite. Now, I wanted to predict the switch, but like I said, I'm not trying to play around with this threat. So just in case he did want to stay in for some weird reason, I went straight for the Fire Punch, even though I knew he'd most likely switch. This this kind of stuff happens to me a lot. Uh, it usually happens towards the end of a generation's lifespan, uh, where when I play a lot of players that on Wi-Fi that might not be so good, uh, when I end up playing a good player, you know, such as Joey, I... Uh, kind of have trouble sometimes so uh, right here I'm, I, I predicted his Obama Snow to come back in but I didn't act on it I actually ended up switching back to my Glass score in case he wanted to uh, predict my Dragon Dance or something and go for the foul play um, but he made the obvious 
he made the, the really good move of switching back to his Obama Snow. Even though I knew his Obama Snow would come back in, I was really, really scared, and I was I didn't want to take that huge risk of allowing my Dragonite to be hit with a foul play or a uh, you know or him whirlwinding me out or anything like that. So I actually ended up going for the switch instead of going for the fire punch, even though I knew his Obama Snow would come back out. And like I said, that's most likely because uh, I'm not making excuses here. I'm just this is just what happens to me. I, I second guess my my you know my more risky plays because when I use them when I do risky plays against players that might not be as experienced they uh, they don't really end up working so even though Joey is a lot better than you know most people in my opinion I, I just I don't know I just did not act on the the predictions that I made uh, which is actually gonna come back to haunt me because <laughs> I, there's nothing I can do now if he takes out my Dragonite I lose because his Obama Snow will definitely kill my Rotom, my Mamoswine, all my Pokemon and the thing that really sucks is the fact that Dragonite cannot have extreme speed yet uh, because you cannot breed it onto him uh, until Pokebank comes out and that's really really bad for me because uh, no matter what I do there's no way my Dragonite can take out his Obama Snow now. Uh, I would have been able to take it out if I had the uh, multi-scale intact, but I had to sacrifice that in order to have a chance of winning at all. And he actually knocks off my Lumberry, so now there's really nothing I can do. But finally, I'm going to make a good prediction. I'm going to predict him to go out to his Aegis Slash, but it doesn't even matter. He's just sending it out as Death Fodder. This is literally the only good play I made the entire battle. <laughs> I predicted something, and I was like, finally... I acted on one of my predictions and it paid off. So now it, it, I just need to kind of gauge my opponent's skill level before I, I already knew Joey was really good, but I don't know. He was kind of in my head, I guess. I, I don't really know how to explain my thought process here, but uh, either way, there's no way I can possibly win this battle. My Dragonite's multi-scale is broken. All four of my other Pokemon get one hit KO'd by Obama Snow and they also cannot really damage it. So there's really nothing I can do. So here I'm just going to go for the Earthquake just because I didn't want to touch the King Shield if he did end up going for it. And uh, I really have no choice but to go for the Outrage here. Uh, because once again, <laughs> there's really nothing I can do. Because Obama Snow is going to come out and shit on my entire team after I take out this Mandibuzz. Uh, he actually stays and goes for the knockoff. It doesn't matter what he does because, like I said, the Obama Snow has the Ice Shard. So he's not going to be worried about me going for extreme speed or anything like that. So there's really no reason not to go for the Outrage. Uh, so I'm going to go for it again. Take out Mandibuzz. I ended up only killing two Pokemon. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's really unfortunate that I brought five Pokemon that get one hit KO'd by Obama Snow. Which is, I, I don't even know how that happened. Even, because I actually knew he was going to bring the Obama Snow. Because we had another battle before this one that didn't go so well, so we had another one. And uh, I didn't want to, like, counter team or anything, so I just brought, you know, random Pokemon. Uh, these Pokemon would not be a... Like, this combination of Pokemon that I brought would not be a bad team uh, normally. But it's just the fact that he has a Mega Obama Snow. Is, I, there's really nothing I can do about this thing. Uh, so obviously, my Glyscore is going to uh, die to whatever. Uh, actually, I think I can live in Ice Shard, which is why I went for the Protect. I didn't know that he had the Blizzard, uh, which is... <laughs> I really did not know that he had the Blizzard on this uh, Mega Obama Snow. I thought he would have Ice Shard, uh, Energy Ball, maybe Earthquake, uh, maybe Hidden Power Fire, but it turns out that he does have the Blizzard, so there's really nothing I can do. Maybe if I got the, um, the Poison on him and he only had Ice Shard, I might have been able to stall this thing out a little bit, which was my thought process at the time, which is why I hadn't run yet. But now that he killed my Gliscor with a Blizzard, there's really nothing I can do. Like, I really have no chance of winning at all. So I pretty much had to run there. So I, was a I didn't have to run, obviously, but it would have made no difference whether I ran or stayed. So I just ran, uh, congratulated him on winning. <laughs> this is my boy Joey, so we can battle whenever we want. Uh, luckily, I do have two battles. I have two battles on him, and he only has one on me, so... That he didn't crush my spirit too too badly, so uh, next time I'm gonna try better, um, better tactics, better team building, <laughs> better everything, because we cannot have battles like this where I just get completely crushed. And not only that, but he had a Talon Flame chilling. So even if I did kill his Abomin, well I had the Rotom for his Talon Flame, but either way I had no chance after uh, he took out my Metachamp and my Dragonite. So that was a good game, Joey. Um, we'll definitely battle again because I can't be going out like that. <laughs> and thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Leave a comment. I love reading all the comments even though I can't respond because I'm still not hooked up to Google+. Plus. Never. Never. Joey, you will not get me to convert. I'm never doing it. <laughs>
Uh, live stream should be happening this weekend. I'll let you guys know as I normally do. Uh, but anyways, until then, bye!